Hello, my name is Joe Hedrick and I'm one of the infrastructure technical team managers here at Imagine It. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of automated property set data in Civil 3D. This is part two of a three-part video and blog series that will demonstrate how to define property set definitions containing formulas and calculations, then use the calculated values in labels and tables. This video will focus on utilizing the property set data and labels. Let's get started. Picking up where we left off in the last video inside of Civil 3D, we can see our pipe run. It is annotated uh, with the name of the structure as well as the insertion elevation of that structure. Right? In the last video, we also associated the property set data to the different structures. And now in this video, we're going to implement or include that information inside of the label style. To do that, it's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, we're going to modify this, uh, the label style that's in use. And you'll notice that there is a kind of a nice neat tab here called property set. This isn't always the case as we'll find out in a future video. But for label styles, we can just simply go to the property set tab and add the information just like we would add anything else. So in our label, let's add form grade. And then simply arrow to the right to add that information to the label. One important note is that Civil 3D treats the property set definition information as text. Right? That means that even though this is you know, a numerical value that's coming across, it's being treated like it's just a piece of text. Therefore, we don't get any of the options to, uh, for units, uh, to truncate, to rounding, which is why I had to do that back in the formula itself. Applying and exiting out of that, we can see that the form grade information gets uh, included in the labels. We are able to, again, make sure that uh, you know, in the case of my inlets, that the half a foot is being subtracted. Now, I think it's also important to note that this is kind of a design label. And one of the things that we found kind of best practice, you know, is you know, engineers like to maybe see more information uh, while they're designing, and then maybe you know, have a separate set of label styles, you know, for their sheets. Right? In this case, you know, we probably won't label all of this information, you know, on the actual plan. However, it's nice as as I'm designing, you know, working along through uh, this pipe run, just to make sure that the product is doing what we want it to do, where for the case of inlets, you know, this form grade elevation, it's subtracting the half a foot, while for manholes, it is not. You know, when it comes time to, you know, put this information on a sheet and label it, you know, whether we're using this particular file, whether we data shortcut, whether we externally reference, uh, it, it really doesn't matter. In my case, just to, uh, to show how quick that is, we can pick all of the, uh, the labels, um, and I'm going to do this through properties. Flip over to a sheet. And now we're looking at information that you know, is probably a little closer to typical um, as to what we would show on the sheet. Thank you for watching. To quickly recap, in this video, we utilize property set data and label styles. Stay tuned for the final video in this series where this data will be incorporated into tables.